through Richard Kelly. Normally when it starts to screw that way, the arm will come out, but this is control. Simon Parker's got it! Parker drives! Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be getting familiar with four Waikato Rugby Union leaders. The 2021 Bunnings NPC involves the top 14 provincial rugby unions of New Zealand. It was in 2006 that Bunnings NPC became a 14-team tournament. And since the end of the old National Provincial Championship in 2005, no other tournament or competition has carried the NPC moniker. This Bunnings NPC 2021 marks the 16th season of New Zealand's Provincial Rugby Union, the National Provincial Championship competition. Headquartered in Hamilton and founded in 1921, the Waikato Rugby Union, or WRU, is the official governing body of rugby union in the Waikato area or province. So, who are the top four Waikato Rugby Union leaders? Glad you asked. Buckle up and join us as we count down to number one and do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's begin. Number four, Liam Messam. Born in Blenheim, New Zealand, on the 25th of March, 1984, Liam Justin Messam schooled at the Rotorua Boys High School. He has admitted his Samoan and Scottish heritage. Liam was selected in New Zealand's end-of-year tour squad to tour Hong Kong and Europe. After this, he made multiple appearances for New Zealand. Sadly, he was dropped a month out of the 2011 Rugby World Cup in favour of Victor Vito. In 2004, at the age of just 20, Liam Messam captained the New Zealand Sevens team to its fifth IRB Sevens World Series title and he was named New Zealand Sevens Player of the Year. In 2005, he led the New Zealand Sevens team to the final. Messam finally broke into the Chiefs side in 2006 when he played in the New Zealand Sevens team that won gold at the 2006 Commonwealth Games. In 2010, Messam appeared twice during the 2010 Tri-Nations. Both times, he showed up as a replacement flanker. That same year, he played an important part in New Zealand's Sevens triumph at the Commonwealth Games. Liam Messam was handed his All Blacks debut at the tail end of 2008, in the November International against Scotland at Murrayfield. Since his debut in 2008, Messam has won 40 test caps for the All Blacks, thus establishing himself as an immensely valuable member. He ensured to leave an impression as their first choice blindside during the 2012 Rugby Championship and the 2013 Super Rugby season saw Messam continue his impressive form. Being too good to be left out, Messam was selected for the 2015 Rugby World Cup as part of the All Blacks 31-man squad. Number 3. Luke Jacobson Next, we have Luke Jacobson, who is a New Zealand rugby union player who plays for the Chiefs in Super Rugby competition and for the All Blacks. Jacobson was born on the 20th of April 1997 in Cambridge, New Zealand. Currently 24 years old, he has been on the national radar for several years as one of a trio of loose forward brothers making their mark in rugby. The first time Jacobson played was alongside his older brother Mitch in the Cambridge High School First 15. Driven and determined, he made the New Zealand schools team in 2014. In 2016, he captained Waikato in the Jock Hobbs Memorial National Under-19s Tournament. Standing out as an excellent player, he was named Player of the Tournament and he made the New Zealand Under-20 team. The year after, Jacobson captained the Under-20s to victory in Georgia and made his Waikato debut. Jacobson made his Super Rugby debut in 2018. He played primarily at blindside flanker and played 13 matches in his first Super season. He went on to captain Waikato in the 2018 Mitre 10 Cup. In 2019, we saw him make his test debut against Argentina in Buenos Aires. In the final quarter of a narrow 2016 win against Argentina, Jacobson made his All Blacks debut in July 2019. Jacobson was named in New Zealand squad for the 2019 Rugby World Cup, but we didn't get to see him in action. Unfortunately, he was injured and couldn't make an appearance for the All Blacks in 2020. Thankfully though, he's all better and Jacobson was named in the 2021 All Black squad and he played for the 2021 Steinlager series. Number 2. Damien McKenzie Born on the 20th of April 1995, Damien Sinclair McKenzie was born to dairy farmers in Invercargill. He received his secondary education at Christ's College in Christchurch. This New Zealand rugby union player currently plays fullback or first 5 8 for the All Blacks and the Chiefs in Super Rugby. He has also played for Waikato in the National Provincial Championship. 
Damien McKenzie began his playing career representing the New Zealand under-20s during the 2014 IRB Junior World Championship. McKenzie made his Investec Super Rugby debut for the Gallagher Chiefs in 2015. In 2016, at the age of 21, McKenzie was called into the All Blacks for the June Internationals and made his All Blacks debut against Argentina. Very versatile, he originally specialised at first 5 8 but was a standout in the New Zealand under-20 teams campaign at the 2014 Junior World Championship, where he played at fullback. Often in charge of goal kicking, McKenzie has received attention for his trademark smile before attempting to kick at goal, and is known for his outstanding ability in the 15 jersey. McKenzie represented the Maori All Blacks from 2015 to 2017. He never missed a game throughout 2016 as he played in the Chiefs' starting lineup at fullback. He made sure to finish the season with a remarkable record as Chiefs' top try scorer and the overall second highest try scorer with 10 tries. In 2019, McKenzie suffered a season ending knee injury while playing Super Rugby for the Chiefs. He was diagnosed with a torn ACL suffered against the Blues at FMG Stadium Waikato in the Super Rugby competition. This forced him to miss out on selection for the 2019 Rugby World Cup. In 2020, he returned for the Chiefs and was renamed in the All Blacks after featuring for the North in the North vs South match in Wellington. McKenzie was a standout for the Gallagher Chiefs in 2021 and was selected once again for the All Blacks. In 2021, McKenzie landed his first penalty goal for the All Blacks, a 59-metre monster strike against Australia at Eden Park. Number 1. Anton Leonard Brown Aged 26, Anton Leonard Brown was born on the 15th of April 1995. Leonard Brown was born and raised in Christchurch, where he attended the notable rugby school Christchurch Boys High School. This school seems to be quite a common theme among the All Blacks, with more than 40 players having some ties to the school. Anton's older brother, Daniel, also plays Super Rugby for the Highlanders. He is a lively and resourceful midfielder who sold out at first 15 level for Christchurch Boys High School. In 2014, he made his Super Rugby debut and was selected for the 2014 and 2015 New Zealand under 20 side. He played in the championship side in 2015. Anton was first called into the All Black squad for the 2016 Investec Rugby Championship as an injury replacement and he made his debut against Australia. This was a well-deserved reward for his consistent form earlier in the year for the Chiefs during the Super season, which was a challenging season for the side in 2020. Anton has since made himself into an indispensable player, notching up 50 caps in the black jersey in 2021. He played his 50th test for the All Blacks against Fiji on his home track of FMG Stadium Waikato in July 2021. Anton is quite diverse and has studied sports and leisure at Waikato University. His long-term contract with New Zealand Rugby through to 2023 provides him all the time he needs to further his studies. Which of these four players is your favourite? Let us know. Like this video and leave us a comment below. Do not hesitate to join the community by subscribing to this channel and don't miss out. Stay up to date by turning on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time new content like this one you've just enjoyed gets uploaded on our channel. Thank you for watching our video, we already have another ton of interesting videos on our channel you might be interested in. Until next time, stay safe.